Pre-war Japanese pro baseball was a bit chaotic, to say the least. Outside of the big four teams, no one really knew what they were doing, nor had the money to do it. And teams were moving stadiums and changing owners on a dime. Perhaps the best example of this was Dai Tokyo Baseball Club, who under many, many different names and many different owners would crisscross the country in the 1940s. But before that, they were intent on establishing themselves as Tokyo's team. After the Giants, and the Eagles, and the Senators. Look, they were far from the most popular team in the city, but they had a solution to that. They were going to build their own stadium for themselves. So, with some sponsorship money from Tokyo Gas, they set out to make that dream a reality. The site chosen was a landfill in the Johto Ward neighborhood of Susaki. Now, for those of you who don't know, Johto Ward, now called Koto Ward, is right on the bay. And the neighborhood of Susaki is right on the water. This not only meant that the ground wasn't the most structurally sound, but the area was also infested with crabs. On the upside, it was right next door to a uh, brothel. Building on this site would take some careful planning to deal with these issues. So, naturally, they threw it together in three months. Despite how quickly they'd slapped it together, they actually ran out of money building it. So Tokyo Gas would step in and take sole ownership of the stadium. Meaning that they would have to rent out the stadium they had built specifically for themselves to other clubs. Something the Giants and Senators both took them up on. Dai Tokyo wouldn't have to pay rent, but they wouldn't get a cut of the rent either. Not ideal. So naturally, you'd think this stadium would be a mistake that would fade into obscurity. Well, the start of the 1937 spring season would say otherwise. May 1st, 1937, the Tokyo Giants and Osaka Tigers met at Susaki Stadium, and Aji Sawamura threw the second no-hitter of both Japanese professional baseball history and his career, striking out 11 while walking 3. If that wasn't enough, Two months later, Victor Starfin threw the first no-hitter of his career against the Eagles on July 3rd. While he only struck out six, he added two hits from the plate. Yeah, he batted 301 in 1937. With the spring season winding down, Honkyu Baseball Club met the Senators at Susaki Stadium on July 16th, and Matsuhiko Ishida threw another no-hitter. That's right, three no-hitters in two months all at the same stadium. The second, third, and fourth no-hitters ever thrown in Japanese professional baseball. Nobody would throw another one for two years. Literally a day later, the stadium would set a pre-pandemic record for lowest attendance. During a doubleheader between the Senators and Dai Tokyo Baseball Club, the grandstands held a total of... 90 people. Allegedly, we don't have exact attendance records for pre-war games. And that would be all she wrote for the stadium. Dai Tokyo Baseball Club would be sold to Kyoto Printing that summer, and would move to Osaka. The Giants and Senators would move back to their respective home parks full-time, and Susaki Baseball Stadium never appears in the record books again. Some claim that by 1945, it was nothing but a lumberyard, but we have no proof of that. Given the stadium's historical importance, many attempts were made to pin down its exact location following the war. This was made harder thanks to the fact that the Japanese government was, to put it mildly, in flux during the late 1930s. As a result, accurate records of who owned what and where are nearly non-existent. It took until 2005 for the approximate location to be pinned down when writers for Baseball Taro poured over records and found that the most likely location was 128 Shinsuka, the current location of the headquarters of Organo, a water treatment company. A monument was subsequently built on the site. Following the discovery of some old photos, the Kota Ward mayoral office would commission a 1 and 200th scale of the stadium, which now sits at Kota Ward City Hall. And that is the story of the most important baseball stadium that you've never heard of. Hey y'all, I don't normally do outro bits for GB mini episodes, but I wanted to tell you that I started a Twitter account. 
So if you don't have Reddit, and honestly I don't blame you, you can see the variety of clips that I find in my travels and my research. There should be a full length video coming next week. Love y'all. Do the YouTube stuff to feed the algorithm and uh, I'll see you around. Bye.